hello and welcome to my the summer skin makeup tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can create this perfect summer makeup look with very light textures, quick, simple and easy application. So let's get started. So to create this really natural and dewy, glowy, healthy skin for the summer I'm going to be using some of my favourite products. First you need to sort your base. So I've got clean and washed face and now I'm going to put my tinted moisturizer. I'm currently using the Hydra Crange moisturizer from Clarence which I actually really really love. It's got very nice lightweight formula and it absorbs really quickly but it also gives you really nice slightly glowy and radiant complexion. So I'm just taking some in between my fingers, pat in all the areas and just blend. This really blends so easily and it gives nice and perfected skin. And you hardly can see, you actually can't see that the, there is any product on your skin. So that's your bare skin. If you have very oily skin, you may want to put some primer maybe in a T-zone. But for me, this is absolutely fine and the skin looks nice, smooth and slightly juicy. Next, if you find that you've got a little bit of darkness under the eyes, use some concealer, but go for something that is really lightweight in texture. And for that, I'm gonna use my beloved by Terry Touch Velouté. I think this is how you say it. <laughs> and I'm just gonna gently pat to avoid rubbing anything off and blend it around my eye area. You want to choose a texture that is really lightweight and not very matte otherwise it will be quite obvious that the product is there and you will create that very natural bare skin look with only light textures, lightweight formula, slightly translucent formulas, something that sort of shows your skin glowing through. I sometimes use the same product in the areas if I can see some imperfections rather than foundation or um, heavier coverage concealer. Next step is a blusher and each time I'm trying to create a very natural look I'll go for cream formulas purely because they blend sort of into your skin and don't really show as a product. So I'm going to use Clarins and this is Multi Blush in 03. So that's quite nice and peachy sort of shade. You can use it with your fingers. I'm going to use foundation brush and just gently pat on my cheeks. And then just blend. Now it really depends how I feel. Sometimes I will leave this look um, just with the blusher. Another time I would add some bronzer. And if I am using a bronzer, I like to use my Chanel, um, the bronzing makeup base, which is also like a creamy formula. And again, I will use buffing brush. I'm using here Real Techniques um, foundation brush. And all I'm gonna do is pat that product into my high points, a bit like a three shade, sides of the nose, and just really rub the formula in the same as you would with the foundation on the blusher. So now, because I've got quite defined cheekbones, I quite like to put it higher up here, templates and up. If you want to give yourself more definition, use the bronzer underneath here and just really cast a bigger shadow on your on your cheeks, underneath your cheeks. So once you're done with the skin, it's time to pop some colors on your eyes. And again, for the summery day, I like formulas that I know will stay all day, won't crease. And usually something quite natural, again, so it doesn't look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Sometimes even quite natural and lightweight formulas can look quite heavy and cakey in the hot summer day. So that's why I like creams and, and sort of 
blendable formulas and for my eyeshadows I'm going to use Kiko um, eyeshadow stick. They are long lasting and really easy to blend and you don't need a primer with them. So I'm using my 07 which is like a sort of champagne colour and just blend from the inner side of my eye, inner corner sort of midway and then use my finger and just blend and this formula really stays on the, on the eyelids well I never use primer when using those eyeshadows there's no need for that Nice and lightweight colour, so it really brings up the eyes, brighten the eyes. And now for a little bit more definition, I'm going to use Kiko eyeshadow in 05. This is more like a sort of pinky browny colour, and I like to use it on the outer side. Just there, draw a line. And then again, I would just use my finger and slightly blend and a little bit in the socket. They're actually quite easy to blend. You can use fingers, you can use brush if you like, but I just, whenever I want just a quick look and, you know, fuss free makeup, I will just use my fingers. And that's when I like cream formulas. Today on my eyelashes I'm going to use Dior Agdate it, it Lash, which is a new mascara from Dior. Um, and initially I wasn't too keen on it, but it actually gives a really good separation. So when you're keeping your makeup quite natural, um, it's just enough mascara without being too heavy with a good separation. So I'm going to use this for, the, for that look. It really makes you look like you've got loads and loads of lashes because of the very good separation. Okay, so now we've got our base, we've got eyes done, it's time for lips. Whenever I'm doing makeup, which I want to look very natural, as if my skin is bare, I also use very lightweight textures on my lips. So I will either choose lip gloss, very sheer lipstick, or a stain. So today I'm going to use new sort of lips tain from by Terry and this has got a little bit of glitter but once you leave the gloss and you don't move it it sort of sets in the bottom so you can either use it glittery or you can use it um, sort of more translucent and this just stains your lips this also allows the the, the color to build up I'm just gonna keep it like it is now and I think that will be enough. So here it is, very nice and natural and bare looking skin. This makeup is very quick, very simple to do. You don't need many products at all. And the best thing about it is it also feels like you have nothing on your skin. Um, if your skin is quite oily, you may want to powder on top your finished look. Don't powder on top of your tinted moisturizer. If you're working with cream formulas like blushes, bronzers, you want to apply all of them first and then set with a powder, otherwise they can go a bit patchy. Thanks for watching, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I see you in the next video.